Hi, this is Sean Malarkey with Tri-State Waterworks, your prompt and proven service provider. Today we're going to talk a little bit about lighting maintenance. So you have a lighting system in your yard, do you just let it go? Or is there some care and love you need to give it? Well, there is a little a few things you need to do. A couple of items we'll talk about today is cleaning them, straightening them, and then possibly you have to move them because plants grow. So the first thing, if you have a fixture like this, they call it accent light. It has a glass globe on it, and after a while, they just get all gunked up with um, the rainwater and dirt and whatnot. So again, our favorite friend here, window cleaner, put a little bit of that on the, the glass. Take your clean cloth and, and clean it off real good. If you don't do this, it'll actually cut down on how much light's going out, so you're just kind of wasting energy. So keep it nice and clean so it looks nice and bright and does the job you want it to do. As I got this one out of the ground, another thing you want to look at, sometimes things, the bushes grow and you need to move them. And most of the time, if the lights are installed properly, they're going to have a little extra wire on the base of them so you can move the wire into different locations. So you might have to move the wire back away from some bushes to reposition it on the house. You can pull the stake up. Once you figure out where you want to position that, take the stake, push it back down in the ground to reposition the light. Another simple adjustment might be just adjusting the angle of it. To do that, we want to take a screwdriver and loosen the adjustment that holds the light in place. You can tilt it back and forth to get it to the perfect adjustment. Now this is something you're going to do at nighttime. So you're going to come out after if you had dinner and the lights are on and you can adjust them when, when the system is actually working. I've also noticed over time, I don't know if animals hit them, but sometimes they just get knocked, so you'll just need to straighten them up just because they've, they've gone out of uh, alignment on you. Another problem with landscape lighting, especially in the path lights, is after time they tend to get crooked, especially if you're in a cold area where you have freeze thaw, tends to move the stake up a little bit. You can see how this one's real crooked. Um, easiest way to straighten it is kind of loosen it, rock it, and pull it out of the ground. So it's back up and easily straightened. You can eyeball this for the most part. I mean, if you're real particular, you could get out of level, but for the most part, you can just do uh, uh, eyeball it. So hold it straight with one hand. If you have like a nice plastic mallet, don't use a hammer because you'll break the base of it. Then you can tap the stake back into the ground. One thing when you're tapping the stake in the ground, you'll notice these ridges. You want to tap above the ridge. That helps. It's just it's stronger there, and the tapping motion, motion won't break anything. So I'm holding it with one hand to help keep it straight while I tap it back down in the ground with the other hand. See there how easy that is? It may not be perfectly straight, but it's definitely looking a lot better than it did before. So you use these tips to help straighten up your landscape lighting and get the best use out of it that you possibly can. And if you come across a problem that's a little bit more than you think you can tackle, please give us a call. We'd love to come out and fix up your landscape lighting for you. Thanks, and have a wonderful day.